All right, so I'm going to be showing how to open up and disassemble this Lenovo IdeaPad 3 15iil05. Um, we're going to be replacing the keyboard palm rest assembly because some soup was spilled on it. Um, so hopefully that's the only issue that it's just um, the keyboard. Anyways, let's go ahead and remove all the screws. These are JIS-1 screws. You want to keep them in order because they can be different size, shape, and length. The way I do that, I put them flat side down like that on my desk in the pattern. I remove them. So three, three, and four. Okay. If this video helps you out, please make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade or repair their devices as well. And if it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. All right, and the ways to do that, the links are in the description below. And yeah, we're just going to continue removing all these screws. Okay. So six, and now we'll get these four. This one is like kind of a golden color. All right. So I think this has like, this model has three different colors. There's like a blue one, a gray or silver one, and then this uh, brownish colored all right so now that we got all the screws off let's go ahead and get this bottom cover off so to do that usually I'll open this up I'll get my fingernails in the little gap here between the palm rest and the um, there and then I'll push with my thumb on the back here oh this computer turns itself on so I'm gonna have to shut it down but uh let's go in here okay so basically push with my thumb here and pull and you want to make sure not to um, let me shut it down real quick. You want to make sure that you're not pushing on the trackpad or touchpad area when you do this. Okay, sorry about that. I had to shut down that computer. Okay, so make sure that you don't push on this area. So go around to the side. Okay, there we go. Now that we've got that, we're going to rotate it over. I'm going to go along the side. I'm lifting it up. I'm going to slide my thumbnail in there. Okay, same thing with the other side. Lift it up and slide my thumbnail in there okay there we go then wiggle this you might have to hold this down wiggle this and kind of pull it up and there we go here we go we got the bottom cover off very nice and simple okay so we do have to take everything completely out of here because the keyboard is um damaged by that liquid so first thing we're gonna do is remove the battery the main battery here okay so actually let me get a thumbnail real quick of this so, okay we'll get a thumbnail there all right so we got that next we're going to go ahead and remove the battery let me actually zoom in here a bit okay hopefully the screws won't be in my way when I go to show you guys this let's get these screws out okay looks like there's only three screws holding this battery in place two and the third one here all right so now that we got those three screws out we're gonna get this part up so lift this up go underneath okay I like to get my finger underneath the cable over here and then pinch it with both fingers and I'll use my thumb at the back here to help pull and wiggle this and there we go okay battery information here's the battery model L16 L2 PB3 okay we'll set the battery aside now okay after disconnecting the battery I always like to open up the computer carefully slowly and press and hold the power button for at least 15 seconds to drain any residual power all right, this makes it a lot safer to work on, especially since we're going to be messing with the, um, the screen. So we'll hold it for a few more seconds. <clears throat> okay, and you wanna be careful with the hinges because now that we have the cover off, you can see, oops, sorry, let me zoom out. You can see we're missing a screw here and here. So the hinges are gonna be a lot weaker. Okay, so next thing we gotta do is disconnect this cable and the wireless antennas so let's zoom in a bit here because you probably need a better close-up view okay one stick of ram is soldered to this as you can see this is one stick of ram and then the other one's removable um, so if you want to remove that you pull the two tabs aside it pops up like this and you can pull it out this is 
a 4 gig PC4 3200 AA. You should be able to use any PC4 3200 AA RAM laptop. Or, sorry, laptop RAM. <laughs> um, so if you want, you can probably get a 8 gig or 16 gig stick if you can find one. Okay. Anyways, let's go ahead and disconnect these cables. So flip this latch up just like that. And then this cable is just held in here with friction. So you kind of have to wiggle it to kind of get it out. This is kind of tough. So I'm going to use some needle nose pliers to grab the plastic portion of it. Okay, just like that. And you kind of just wiggle this as you pull. Hopefully you can see it's wiggling. Okay, even with this, it's kind of tough. Sorry, my hand might get in the way. There we go. Okay, so got that connector out. Then this one, <clears throat> you gotta pull up slightly as you pull it back, just like that. Okay, and you got this cable here that we need to kind of thread out from this little plastic thing. There we go. Okay, so we got that side done. We're gonna go over to the other side. We gotta remove the wireless antennas. Um, to do that, we also need to remove the SSD. So there's one screw here, also JIS1. Again, hopefully you're keeping all these screws in order. Right, we'll set that aside. It pops up at an angle, then you can kind of just pull it back. Okay, just like that. <clears throat> All right, then we got the screw here for the wireless antennas. <clears throat> Holding this bracket down, undo that screw. It pops up. This little plastic thing can slide back and then you should be able to take it out just like this. All right, wireless antennas. Um, I'm not gonna disconnect them from the wireless card because sometimes the solder for those connectors are not really good. So I'm just gonna kind of pull the wireless card out and kind of bring it all with it. And then we're just gonna unthread the antennas out from this, all right, out from the fan there. Make sure to go over, under, over, under, however it's guided. Okay, and out there, and then out this plastic one as well. Okay. So. This can be a little bit tricky. Come on, let go. Might have to pull the plastic over. And be careful that you don't cut the wires open with that plastic thing. Okay, so there we go. We got the antennas out. We're going to zoom out here. Okay, next thing you want to do, carefully open up the laptop all the way. Okay, as far as it goes. Well, I guess you don't have to open it as far as it goes, but just open it pretty wide. Okay, we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna rest it on the edge of the desk with the screen hanging down. And then we're gonna go ahead and remove the um, little hinge screws here. Okay, so there's two on each side. One here, one here. And you wanna hold the screen up as you do this so that the screen doesn't just fall over. I'm actually holding it up with my legs. And that one and this one. Okay, and now we got the screen out. You can lift it up. And there we go. We got the screen removed. Okay, we'll set that aside. Okay, next let's zoom back in. We're going to have to remove all these other little components. Oh, give me a second. I need to check my phone. But yeah, I'm getting some messages I need to respond to. Give me a second. All right, I'm back. Let's continue this. Let's actually open up the replacement one to see. Make sure everything looks okay. okay. So we got this box here. Cut that open. And then cut down this. Okay. Then we're going to open this up. Open this up. And oh, it's sealed on the sides too. Sorry for going out of view here, but I'm wrapping all of this bubble wrap. There's so much bubble wrap on this thing. Jeez. Okay. Almost there. All right. So I'll 
bubble wrap out. Now we got this blue stuff. Okay, and looks to be the right color. Yep, okay. So this one actually came with um, the touchpad, trackpad, as well as the speakers. So we don't need to migrate those over. And I think, I think everything else we have to migrate over. Okay, so looks good. Okay, we'll set that aside for now. <clears throat> okay, we're going to go ahead and disconnect this um, daughter board with the headphone jack, one key recovery key button, and the SD card slot. So the connector for the speakers, just grab the wings with your fingernails, that's what I do, and I just wiggle this as I pull it, and there we go, it pops out. All right, we're going to flip this latch up here to release this cable, and then we'll pull that out. There we go. Oh, this cable is going to be tough to remove safely. We'll see how it goes. All right, there's one screw holding this in place, so we'll undo that. And then we can take that out, and we can transfer this board over to the new one. So rotate it that way, and it's getting caught on that, so take that out. There we go. Okay, let's get the new one. <clears throat> Right here and we'll get this in so it just goes in at an angle like this drops into place there we go we can take that one screw and we can put that back in all right so we got that piece good we'll set this aside again let's go on to the next piece the fan is going to need to be cleaned it is pretty dusty so I'll take that out and clean it up first um, but let's get out these three screws holding it in place There, one there, and one here. All right, now we got those three out. This screw is much longer than these two, so make sure again that you don't mix things up. We can lift this up. We're gonna get this connector out, same thing. <clears throat> Just grab it with my fingernails and wiggle. Okay. Wow, this one's actually in there real good, but just keep wiggling and pulling, and there we go. Okay, let me clean the dust out of this real quick, and I'll be back. See you guys in a bit. All right, so I'm back, cleaned up the fan. We got to wait to put this back because other stuff goes underneath. So we'll just set that aside. Okay, oh, I also need to clean out this. Oops, sorry. Cleaning out the heat sink. There we go. Okay, this cable, I'm not too sure how I'm going to transfer that over because it's stuck on there real good with the adhesive. Um, we'll see. I might have to try getting a little isopropyl rubbing alcohol under here and just slowly peeling it up. But uh, let's go ahead and flip this latch here. Okay, and then get this cable out. There we go. And yeah, we're going to have to do something to get that out. We'll see. Okay. We got the touchpad cable here. Flip that latch up, pull that cable out. Um, we also have this little hard drive caddy here, but there's no connector thing to transfer it over. We're just gonna take this one screw out. Okay, I think normally if you have the hard drive, I think it connects here. Yeah, it says HDD1. Uh, but anyways, we took that screw out. Oh, there's one more screw down here. Okay, so if you wanted to add another hard drive, like a regular two and a half inch SATA drive or two and a half inch SATA SSD, you can, but you need the little adapter for that. And I don't know where you would get that. Maybe Amazon or something. Okay, so we got that. We can go ahead and transfer this over. Um, we do want to route the speaker cable the right way. So let's go ahead and get this out. Okay, and we'll just route it the same way they have here. So. They have this going through this plastic piece here. Then it goes around this one. Then it goes around this one. And then it plugs in up here. So when you plug it in, make sure that you get it with the um, exposed golden pins showing facing up. Okay. So I'll get that in and then I'll just pinch that in. Okay. All right. So there we go. We got that in as well. Okay. Next thing, what else? 
Oh yeah, let's get this little hard drive metal bracket thingy back in as well. So just drop that in place. All right, and there's two screws. Let me actually move this one out of the way so I can work on the desk. Okay, we'll get this screw in. And this other one in. Then you want to kind of guide this and hold that so that it's in place with that plastic piece and we can go ahead and screw it all the way down. Of course you want to make sure this one goes through properly as well. Okay, so there we go. All right, next thing we got to remove the entire motherboard. So keyboard connector flip this latch up okay the one on the back and then you can go ahead and pull this out you have to lift it up slightly and then wiggle it out it looks like it's kind of tough because they put adhesive here I don't know why for no reason just to make it more difficult but lift it up and I'm going to use this and use that to help pull it out come on why is it stuck so strong in there get out there we go Okay, so we got the keyboard and the touchpad connectors out. You also have the uh, CMOS BIOS battery here. We're gonna remove, well, we can leave that connected and we can just peel this up here. So I'm gonna carefully, slowly pull on this. And the adhesive should eventually pop out. Okay. Okay, there we go, we got the battery um, disconnected from the, or not disconnected, but unstuck from the board. Okay, next we gotta find out where this is held down. We got one screw up here, okay, this silver one. Again, don't mix up the screws. All right, what else? We got one down here. They actually have little white arrows on the motherboard showing that there's a screw there. And then I think we just have these two up in this corner here. Okay. Okay, so now that we got all those screws out, let's see if we can lift the motherboard up. We're just going to start from this side. Am I missing any screws? I don't know. There might be some. Oh, there's one here I didn't see. So underneath that Lenovo, there's a Lenovo warranty sticker here. Um, this is more like a tamper sticker. It shouldn't void your warranty depending on where you live. Some places, oh, I guess we can't cleanly peel this out, so we're probably just going to have to stab a hole in it. So let's just stab a hole in it and undo that. Okay, but uh, again, this in certain states and places, it's not supposed to be considered a warranty sticker. It's more just a tamper sticker so they know that you messed with it. All right, we're going to now wiggle this. Let me actually zoom out a little bit so you can see more and kind of get this. And you want to very slowly, gently lift this. Don't try and force it up, okay? So we're going to lift like this. Don't pull on this heat sink bar because you don't want to accidentally bend it. But there we go. Okay. So here's the bottom of the motherboard. It actually looks relatively clean. So we'll just brush it a little bit to make sure there's no debris or anything stuck to it and we should be good to go okay so we got the motherboard cleaned up I think we don't need anything else from in here um, yeah I think we're good as far as that goes so we'll set this aside we only need this cable which I'll get out after we do the motherboard swap okay so motherboard going in we do have to Fold this keyboard cable back down like the other one, okay? All right, so just fold that down out of the way. Did they fold it all the way up there? Yeah. They folded it like all the way down here. Okay, so fold that down. Now we'll get the motherboard carefully. Rotate it and get that in. So just go in at an angle. Okay, like that. Make sure all of this goes flush. Make sure the screw mounts or the screw holes line up. Make sure this touchpad cable also ends up back on top. And we should be good. Okay. All right. Next, we're going to get all these screws back in. 
So we had the one, make sure you can push it over the right way. We'll get this one screw here. All right. We'll get the other screw down here. Again. Okay, we'll get this other silver screw here on top of that sticker. If you want, you can even peel that Lenovo sticker off completely. This one, if you can, it's kind of tough. They the way they stick it, whatever adhesive they use, but uh, we'll kind of get some of it off. Yeah, whatever adhesive they use, it's like really tough to get that out. I think we'll just leave it there. You'd have to like slowly like pick at it over and over for a long time. So we'll just out the little bits that we got okay let's get this screw back in all right and then we get the two screws that were holding the charge port in place perfect okay so there we go Next, we'll get the fan in place. Um, you can also make sure to stick this down if you want. Just line that up and then push it down. Okay, fan, drop that in place. Three screws. <clears throat> I'm going to loosely fit them. Again, the one for, that goes where the motherboard is is longer than the rest. Okay. Now that they're loosely fit, I like to kind of push it against the heatsink. And then we'll go ahead and tighten this down. There we go. Okay, then we'll grab this, line that up, and then pinch that in. I like to pinch both parts, just like that. Make sure it goes in all the way. Okay. Um, let's actually zoom in a bit. Sorry, I was doing that so far zoomed out. We've got the keyboard connector here. If you want, you can remove this adhesive thing and put it, but honestly, I don't think it's necessary. I'm just going to fold this over, get that connector in all the way. Make sure the wings go past the little um, cream colored area there, and then you can click that or slide your finger over to lock it down. And then for this cable, I like to just crease it here. Okay, again, you don't need to use that um, adhesive thing, just kind of crease it so it stays more flat. Okay, we got the touchpad connector here. So I grab the little blue tab, line it up, and get that in. Okay, all right, once that's in, then slide, slide your finger over. Okay. <clears throat> what else do we got? We got the wireless card, SSD, and all of that. So Let's zoom out. Oh, I need to get this one cable back. Shoot, What's that that goes underneath the fan. So I'm gonna have to undo the fan screws here so I can move the fan out of the way. And then I'm gonna have to get my little um, isopropyl rubbing alcohol drip bottle to help get that out. So get that out, this guy, we just need to move it out of the way. Okay, let me go get the other um, one, and I need my uh, rubbing alcohol drip bottle so that I can remove that cable that we need to transfer over. So <clears throat> I'm going to go get that and I'll be back. All right, I'm back. So we're going to try and get some isopropyl rubbing alcohol underneath this connector here because you want to try and get this up without damaging it. So let's see here. Get this, some rubbing alcohol in there. Oh, that's actually a lot. And that should slowly allow it to peel up, as you can see. All right. And we're just gonna slowly keep working, pulling on it. All right, the rubbing alcohol should slowly go under. I'm gonna wiggle it a little as I kind of pull. Hmm, it's getting stuck there, interesting. Okay, let's get some more rubbing alcohol maybe. Wow, this cable stuck real strong in there. Okay, it's slowly peeling. 
There we go. Okay. Oh, they only put the adhesive on two small spots, it looks like. Okay. So, continue peeling there and slowly peeling it up. Okay, I'm pulling this way as well because I don't want to like just fold the cable over. And there we go. Okay, so we got these two cables out. Oh, the adhesive is kind of messed up a little bit. So we got to kind of fix that. Okay, after it dries out, it should be sticky again. We'll set this aside and we'll grab the other one now. Okay, so we should be all done with that one. We do need to get the new one now. Okay. All right, and we will go ahead and put this cable in here, okay? So this one before was going underneath the speaker cable. So if you want, you can go ahead and um, pull the speaker cable back out, okay? And put it back underneath. Um, let's go ahead and make sure that latches up. We'll get this cable in first, okay? Make sure hold it in, slide your finger over. Do the same thing on the other side. Make sure that latches up. Get the cable in. I need to make sure this cable stays out of the way. Okay. So get that in. Come on. There we go. Get that in. And then slide your finger over to latch that down. Go towards the center. Work your way out to stick it back down. Get this speaker cable back in. Okay, pinch it back into place. Good. All right. So there we go. Fan back into place. Okay, and we'll get these three screws back in. There we go. Hold the fan up into place again. Tighten it down. Last one. Okay, perfect. All right, now we need to get the screen back in place. Give me a second. Let me make sure I'm not getting messages. Okay. So to get the screen back in place, um, let me actually show you the easier way. Um, you actually don't even need to hang it off the desk at this point. That was more so you could open the hinges easier. So we'll get the screen here, get this into place. All right, you do have to lift it up to get the um, hinges in. Once you get that in, you can slowly lower it down. Make sure it's not getting caught or hitting anything. Oops, this one didn't go in all the way. Okay, and then once you get it past the hinges all the way, you can actually lower this down. Some of the plastic get ripped out here. What? Interesting. Okay, so we'll lower this down. The hinges are actually open too much, so we got to kind of close them up. And then you can see now we can actually just drop it down. Okay. All right, next thing we're going to do, we just got to close the hinges all the way down. Um, make sure these cables aren't getting in the way. So we're going to thread this back in, the gray one down here, and then the black one. Push that in and push that in. Okay. Good. We're going to slowly close the hinge up. Okay. And then this one as well. Close the hinge up. All right. So when you get it closed quite a bit, you can lift the thing up. Make sure it lines up with those little plastic pegs. And then, and then we're going to push down on all of it at the same time. So right here, just like that. Okay. There we go. And because I took the screws out upside down, I have them arranged upside down. So I'm going to flip it over and get these screws back in. Okay, get that guy. We got this guy. All right, then we got this guy over here. And this last one. Put 
perfect. Now we just gotta get all these cables back in. So let me zoom in here for you guys a little bit. Okay, make sure this latch is flipped up. We're gonna get this, tuck that back down under there. Good. Okay, this cable again, you do have to kind of like tilt it so that the back is higher than the front. And then get that in. Come on. Get this back in. cables being a little tricky make sure you're not forcing the cable in it should go in relatively easy but it's having some issues here let me flip it over and see if it'll be easier for me to see this way okay there we go all right, and the wings will have a little bit of the cream part or whatever you want to call it sticking out. So there we go. Latch that down, get this lined up, and get that in, and then pinch the two together. There we go. All right, next we got the wireless antennas. So we got that already in there. Okay. Now we're going to get this one. Wrap it over this way. Okay, just like that. And then get this under here. Alright, then we got this and this. And then this one goes under again. And we got the wireless oops hopefully you guys are able to see i was not sure what i was recording at that point all right get that underneath there perfect oh actually that doesn't go under that one goes there all right then we get this in line it up with the notch and this will go so that the ssd can kind of go on top so <clears throat> get the plastic bracket start it back over here slide it over onto the wireless card just like that. <clears throat> Good. And then we'll get this in, line it up, make sure it locks into place. The wireless card shouldn't be resting on top of the screw mount. It should be around it. The same thing with the plastic one. Then we'll take that screw and screw it down. All right, perfect. Make sure the wireless antennas wires aren't going to get smashed by this here. Okay. Take the SSD, goes in at an angle, and then lowers down there. Okay. Make sure the antenna wires don't go back up. They keep trying to pop back up on top of that screw mount. Okay go and then get that screw in did they change something here this screw is not going in right uh, let's see the old one did it have oh okay the old one had this little bracket thingy there so we do have to take that out interesting I don't know why they took it off the new one but there we go okay let's see what size is this Okay, so that size is a 0.5 hex, looks like that. Take that off, and we'll have to transfer that over. Okay, interesting. I wasn't expecting something like that to be missing. Hmm. Okay, so we'll take this back out. Again, make sure those wires go in the right place. Um, and I guess if you want to use a smaller SSD, you can. You can put this uh, little bolt over there. But we're going to put it on this one. Okay, once you get it tightened a little, you can use this tool and you can tighten it on. 
Perfect. Okay. All right, let's get the SSD back in. I was wondering why that screw wasn't going. Man, this thing's kind of being annoying. Keep these cables out there. There we go. Lower that down and get that screw in. Perfect. Okay, now all we got is the battery and the bottom cover. So let's zoom out here. Oops, I didn't need to actually zoom out because we need to do the battery down here. Okay, battery, take this, line it up. Make sure if you're getting a new battery that the red wires are going towards the CMOS battery and the black wire are going towards the fan. Okay, then pinch it together. There we go, got that all in. Get it all lined up, just like that. Okay, and then we just gotta get the three screws back in. One screw here. And the two screws on the side. One here. And one up here. All right, there we go. So we got all those screws in. All right, next thing we gotta do, we get the, oops, get the bottom cover back on. Okay, takes the bottom cover. Very simple, straightforward, get it lined up. Push those around the edges down. Click it in, same thing on the outside, push towards the outer edges, okay, get it all clicked into place, okay, all right, so we got all of that good, now we just got to get the screws back in and we're good to go. Hopefully this video helped you guys out, again if it did, please make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. If it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. The links and how to do that are in the description below. But um, that's pretty much it. You're welcome to stay as I get all these screws back in. We will power it on one time just to make sure it's good and it should be good to go. All right. All these screws back in. All right, last four screws down here. All right, and that's all there is to it. Again, thanks for watching. Oops, let's actually power this thingy on. All right, I do see the lights on. I did see the screen flicker and we should, there we go. All right, and that's it. I'll see you all in the next one. Let's drop this bike.